Let's talk about the role of the basophil within the blood. Recall that this cell only makes up less than 1% of the total white blood cells that you can find circulating. The basophil seems to play an important role in immediate hypersensitivity reactions. Actually, we'll just call it an allergic reaction. So how do allergies happen? When your body is exposed to something like pollen, other cells in the body get working making specific types of antibodies against these. And these antibodies are called IgE. What happens is these IgEs will then place themselves on the surface of a basophil. So the first time you're exposed to an antigen, to something you're allergic to, this is not such a problem. But the next time you're exposed, your body can make more IgEs and more of those will be displayed on the surface of the basophil. After a few more exposures, what ultimately is going to happen is that you will have enough of these allergens. They can make contact between these IgE molecules. This causes the cell to essentially break apart. And so the membrane breaks apart. This cookie has degranulated. All the granules within this cell bust open and spill out into the bloodstream. What is in these granules? One that you may be familiar with is histamine. And histamine makes you itch like crazy. There is also a slow reacting substance of anaphylaxis which can cause anaphylactic shock. It changes your uh, blood vessels in such a way that your blood pressure drops dramatically. So histamine is what you take your Claritin, your Zyrtec, or whatever. You take an antihistamine to block the action of the histamine that's been released by this cell breaking apart based on high exposures to the allergen. Now we've got a mess, somebody has to come clean it up.